Hey everyone, welcome back to new content of Cyprus. In today's video, we will be discussing about the issuing of a credit note in order sent in accounting. A credit note in order is a document that is used to record a decrease in the amount a customer adds to the business and there can be different reasons why you might need to create a credit note in order. If a customer returns a product that they previously purchased, you can just create a credit note to reflect that the fact they only now of a less money to the business. If a customer accidentally pays more than they off on an invoice, you can create a credit note to refund them um, as the amount is excess. And if there is a mistake on the original invoice, such as an incorrect price or quantity, then also you can just create a credit note to correct the errors. So let's see how can we manage the issuing of a credit note in order 17 accounting. For that, you can just dive into the accounting module and here you can find the credit note for the invoices. So as you just click on this three dots here, you would be able to find uh, the credit note for uh, the customer invoices. So if you want to view that, you can just view it from here or you can also just go to the customers and here you can see the credit note or you can also manage uh, the uh, credit note uh, directly like a uh, under the customers and here you would be able to find the created credit note. Now, let me say that a customer has placed an order for the product with two quantity, but uh, one of them found, found that uh, it's uh, damaged. So in such cases, we can just create a credit note. So here, let's create an invoice with the customer. Let's use the customer as join with, and he's just going to purchase the item, uh, customizable disk with two quantity. So you can set the quantity over here. If you want to apply the taxes, you can apply that or else you can just remove the taxes that is applied over here. So for the time period, I don't need to apply any taxes. So I'm removing that. And you can see that uh, the total price of the product is uh, 1,500 uh, as one of the product cost $750. Now let's confirm this. So as we just click on the confirm button, you can see that currently it's posted, but we haven't made the payment which means the customer hasn't made the payment registration and uh, here once the uh, delivery is done the customer just came to know that uh, the product one has got damaged and uh, he just need to return that so in this case here we know the customer only just need to make payment for one product and currently and you just move to the journal items here you would be able to find that uh, the product sale account which comes under the income account so as the uh, payment is not then it will be marked under the credit side and uh, 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 the account receivable is an asset account as the asset decreases uh, it will be marked under the credit side and as it increases it will be marked under uh, debit side so here in case of the account receivable here we know the um, company need to get 1500 as the money uh, but uh, here now we are just going to make the credit note as one of the product is damaged so in order to do so you can just click on uh, click on the button create note and you can just provide the reason why we are just creating the credit note so here we can say that um, one product is damaged so we just need to return that so under the journal, you can just get into the internal link and under that, you can say that uh, we can just set a dedicated credit note sequence for the reversed journal. So once we in every reversed journals, it will be having a special sequence, which be which will be starting as RINV likewise. So you can set everything over here and you can provide the short code and all. So let me uh, save this later on. You can see the reversal date. So we can just either reverse this entry or we can just reverse this entry and create a new credit note. So in this case, we know the customer only just need to make payment for one product as one of the product is damaged. So here we also just need to reverse the invoice as well as we just need to make one invoice for the product. So you can choose the second option, which is reverse and create invoice. And once you said that here, you can see that the invoice is generated in the trap state. Now we just need to edit the quantity because one of the product is damaged and you can see that now the product price has just turned into 750 for one product. 
that is the unit price of the product afterwards you can see the changes that you have made in this uh, invoice that is in the reversed invoice and you can just confirm that so currently it's posted and um, uh, let's move on to the invoice that we were dealing or that is the program and here you can see that we have just reversed this journey which means we have just uh, created a credit node as the product is uh, returned so that the customer only offs a less amount as compared to the uh, ordered product product and if we want to view uh, the amount uh, and the journal entry info you can just click on the i button and this shows the reversal of the entry um, as the product is damaged the memo is given over here with the date and journal uh, i mean journal as a customer invoices and if you want to view that you can just go to view and you would be able to find uh, the uh, details such as uh, the payment has made which means we have just uh, reversed the payment to the customer side itself which means we have just made the refund to the customer and which is shown over here so that's all about dealing with the uh, issuing of the credit note in Odo 17. So I hope this video clarifies how to manage the credit note and what is credit note. So if you want Odo customizations or Odo tutorial videos, feel free to contact Cybrosis as always. Stay awesome and thank you for watching the video.